guys. Today is a very, very exciting day. Today we go to pick up my new car and the new channel build. This car, <clears throat> I've had one of these cars in the past and it's actually been featured on the channel prior, but we're going to pick up my new to me 1994 Honda Del Sol SI. It's gonna be amazing. It is, it is beat up. You can't really expect a whole lot for $900. It is VTEC. It has like, it, it's all good. It's manual VTEC. It's got all the fun bits and bobs. So I'm super duper excited to go pick it up and bring you guys along with me for the new channel car. I will show you guys in just a second. bit gloomy outside so it's perfect weather for a pumpkin spice latte so we're gonna get some some drinks gonna go do a coffee run and then we're gonna go grab the del sol we gotta drive up to vancouver um so that's pretty cool it's not too far it's like 30 minutes from where i live and in the next clip you guys will see your introduction to the del sol it's gonna be super exciting I think it looks super cool. It needs a lot of work, but that's what you guys are here for. You guys are here to see the transformation of the cars that I build. And yeah, it'll be super cool. I'm super duper excited. guys we picked it up this thing is a nugget this thing is terrible So guys, here it is. Here is the newest car to the channel. This is a 1994 Honda Del Sol SI, and it's as terrible as you guys think it looks. It is five-speed manual, D16 Z6, so single overhead cam, VTEC, which is always a plus. As far as you know the little things that we need to fix or rather the lot of things that we need to fix we need a new fender as you can see this one's crumpled up uh headlights we need those really bad the person before did like custom drop on them and they look atrocious it needs new paint which is okay because that's already planned for new wheels the brakes need to be bled need to make just a whole list of everything that needs to be gone over it has some old nasty tint that needs to be taken off as you guys can see look it's all peeling and everything pretty gross um just over spray all of this is black spray paint and i'm gonna try and see if i can save any of it like a lot of it can just be sprayed off the pressure washer so we'll go ahead and give it give it a go and see how far I can get with just fixing it. 
It doesn't have any carpet, so that'll be another thing that needs to be ordered up. But once the carpet's in, this interior will look way better. And then it's got this ugly shift boot, but I already have a shift boot and an e-brake boot in the mail, just waiting to be installed. Doesn't have a head-to-head -head unit, but I also have one of those ordered up. So we'll see that one coming up pretty quickly. It's got some speakers that I don't know if they work. So we'll see if I need to order some new ones. It's got a nice hole there. Just don't know why they cut that. Um, but for the most part, it's got the black interior, which is really nice. I really like how that looks. It does have the typical door wrinkles, which is something that's very common on these cars. Which is not a bad thing by by all means, as you can see under the hood. VTEC D16Z6, so that's always a big plus. Does have these terrible cracked headers, so I need to either reweld those or replace them ASAP because it makes the car sound absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, I need to go ahead and do your typical maintenance, but as you can see, has like a weird eBay strut bar and then just a little pipe with a cone on it and then it has some LED headlights already but those are going to be replaced whatever I replaced the regular headlights and then everybody's favorite part about this car is the shark teeth I think it looks hilarious and then in the trunk, this was one of the biggest surprises whenever I bought the car, and not in a good way either. There's a giant hole in the trunk from where somebody ran a sub. And then there was some rust in here, but I went ahead and sanded it down with a wire wheel and then tried to get as much off. And then I sprayed painted black just to try and help cover the rust so that none of it comes back. So you guys can see it's like pitted and stuff. But once we get all the new all the carpet and everything in here, then it'll really look a lot better. And the struts are bad too. So we gotta get those replaced. And yeah. So there it is. There is the uh new channel car that everybody's been wanting. It's a uh, it's gonna be a project, but that's okay. That's what you guys are here for. We're gonna make this thing look entirely changed by the time I'm complete with it. And hopefully that won't take too long, but it's gonna be a process for sure. So go ahead and stick around just to, to see the build come to fruition and we'll uh, do the best I can. Alright guys, that's going to end today's video. I'm super excited to start this amazing project that is this 94 Del Sol. I really hope that you guys stick around and watch the build as it commences, as we fix it up and then turn it into the dream build that I've always wanted. We're starting kind of rough, but that's alright. That just means more content for you guys in the long run which is A-OK -okay with me, that means I get to work on cars more. Not gonna complain about that, but otherwise, I really hope you guys enjoy and uh, hope you liked the video if you didn't. Well, hopefully you like future ones. But that's gonna end today's video. Go ahead and like, subscribe, comment down below. I'd like to answer those as quick as I can get to them. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.